Yeah. Good morning, everybody. So we'll continue GMC filter. So we'll implement uh, GMC filter for the third order, but was low pass filter. So we start with a passive, uh, passive prototype. So you remember, say, uh, this is input, this, this is output, the source resistance is one ohm, load resistance is one ohm, two capacitors are one part, inductor is two henry. Yeah, then the transfer function will be uh, something like that. I remember something like that, okay? This is uh, my transfer function. So this is a Butterworth filter. Butterworth filter is uh, a all-pole filter. There is no zero. And then Butterworth filter is uh, maximally flat. Yeah, this means uh, the magnitude border plot, uh, this is uh, magnitude border plot, HC, HSC. Then, yeah, this at the zero, at the F equals zero, this is uh, a very flat, so which means uh, the derivative of uh, HJ omega equal zero for all n. Yeah, n can be one, two, three, something like that, right? Whatever. So that's a maximally flat. You know, in a Chebyshev filter, it, it, it's not maximally flat, right? In you know, a Chebyshev filter, is uh, see, it can be something like that. It has some ripple, and then very sharp, huh? that's a Chebyshev. So, uh, yeah, Butterworth is, uh, uh, has uh, this uh, maximally flat characteristic. So this uh, passive prototype implements uh, that Butterworth uh, uh, characteristic. Okay, okay. Then, say we we'll convert. Uh, 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 this, this is a source resistance, right? This is a floating resistance. This resistance uh, we can implement uh, very easily with a GMC filter, right? So if I connect it like that, then this this resistance is uh, just uh, one of GM. Because you know, this this V this this is a zero this V because this uh, uh, this is a uh, uh, minus input so current pulls uh, it, it sinks current right so current uh, this current uh, GMV current uh, uh, flows out of this voltage source so it is uh, it is a resistance of uh, one of GM okay. Then this capacitance is just uh, uh, just capacitance, and then we we can just uh, if we can implement uh, this floating register RS and the floating inductor this uh, two Henry, then we can implement uh, this filter by GMC. Okay. Yeah, this is a, a, a transfer function. So, you know. Yeah, see, uh, this is a third order, third order uh, filter because I have three energy storage elements, right? So at the DC, this inductor is short, this capacitor is open, so my voltage gain is one half at the DC, right? Because this is one ohm, this is one ohm. Inductor is shorted. 
Okay, at a very high frequency, at the infinite frequency, this is a short circuited, this is a infinite open, and this is a short circuited, my output is a zero. Oh yeah, it is a low pass filter. Okay. Yeah. So uh, in a in a transfer function, in the previous uh, transfer function, it was uh, I have three poles, but this omega zero is only one, one hertz, eh? ah, one rad, one radian per second. So it's not very useful. We want to increase uh, this omega zero. Omega zero is uh, around similar to this bandwidth. Eh? Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, omega zero is around there. You know, close to uh, the bandwidth of this low pass filter. So I want to increase uh, this omega zero. So that's a uh, uh, frequency scaling. Okay. So I want to increase omega zero to uh, from one, from one to um, certain omega zero, like uh, FS. This is frequency scaling. And then this one ohm is no good. Too much current, right? I want to increase uh, this impedance. Yeah, impedance uh, like uh, resistance uh, inductor. This impedance is uh, R um, inductor, uh, something like that. Right? Th those are impedance, right? So actually, uh, th th this impedance, for strictly speaking, this is uh, uh, the resistance scale. We can say the resistance scaling. So resistance from one ohm to some ISO. IS is impedance scaling. So I want to increase uh, impedance, I, I mean resistance, uh, to reduce the current. OK? So if you look at the, this one, say uh, this RL is uh, multiplied by IS, uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, 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 RS RL is multiplied by IS. Uh, how about those terms? Uh, yeah, this frequency will be multiplied by FS, right? Then, if my inductor, if my inductor is uh, multiplied by FS times IS, uh, and then my capacitance is uh, multiplied by FS times IS, uh, and then you will see. If, if I multiply the S and the L, this is just IS, right? If I multiply those things and the S, what happens? Mm -hmm. Impedance scaling is uh, cancelled, right? Yeah, so I can still see this term multiplied by S is also IS, right? Okay. Yeah, you can verify here too. Say this is uh, FS square, and then this is only um, IS divided by FS, eh? and this term is uh, IS. This term is uh, uh, IS times FS, right? So if I multiply all those things together, this thing is canceled, 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 canceled. So I have only IS term left here, right? Okay. Yeah, similar thing here. IS uh, uh, Q triple. And then this thing is IS, uh, oh sorry, FS, 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 IS, IS, and then this thing is uh, IS divided by frequency scaling. This uh, two capacitance is uh, uh, FS, IS square, right? Because I have two capacitor there. Then say, uh, let's just say this thing multiplied by that one, IS square is multiplied by that, I have only IS left, okay? So this uh, <coughs> transfer function is okay. So my, my impedance scaling, oh, here, let's just see. Oh, yeah, here. See, so uh, resistance multiplied by IS, uh, inductor multiplied by IS uh, divided by frequency scaling, uh, capacitance multiplied by one over IS times FS, right? Then my transfer function remains the same. 
oh, oh, sorry, my frequency is multiplied by fs, right? Okay. Then transfer function remains the same. My omega zero will change. I mean, this this is a little bit wrong. So this. Mm. So this omega zero is uh, uh, inside this uh, LRC product. Okay. Okay. Question. No. All right. Let's try. See, this is uh, uh, the Butterworth filter. One ohm, two henny, one farad. So my frequency scaling is uh, two pi times twenty kilohertz. So I, I want to increase bandwidth uh, up to around 20 kilohertz. So my impedance scaling is uh, one kilo ohm. So my uh, RSRL is uh, um, multiplied by this 1,000. So they are one kilo ohms, okay? Both of them. My inductor multiply IS divided by FS, uh, this is, uh, this is, uh, uh, 159 million hmm? from 2 henny. Hmm? So my capacitance is multiplied by this factor, and then this is uh, around uh, yeah 7.96 uh, nano barat. Nano is 10 to the minus 9, right? Okay, then, yeah. Yeah, then see, this is just a passive prototype. Say RS is uh, one kilo ohm. Yeah, you can see this is uh, in node. And then node number two, C1P is uh, two zero, uh, uh, 7.96 nano nanofarad. There is inductor out. Yeah, this is out node. Inductor is uh, 0 0.15. Henny. Oh, there is a capacitor C3, which is uh, 7.96 nanofarad, and then I have a RL there, out zero one kilo ohm, and then see, uh, uh, then AC analysis. Okay. Let Let's look at that. Do I have the output? Oh yeah, I, I have output there. Okay, let's, let, let's just look at this one. So if you uh, simulate it, so I, I can find uh, my DC gain is uh, around uh, 0 0.5 here, and then minus 3 dB bandwidth is uh, around uh, 17 kilohertz. Yeah, close to 20 kilohertz, right? So here is the my omega zero of this transfer function is, should be two pi times uh, 20 kilohertz, okay? That, that, that's a radian per second. But my bandwidth is 17.2 uh, kilohertz, okay? So fine, okay? Yeah, GMC filter implementation. So we want to convert uh, uh, this uh, passive pro prototype. Oh uh, yeah, their resistance is uh, uh, 1K, inductor is uh, this value. So uh, this is input, this is output. So the only thing concern is uh, this floating resistance and this floating inductor, okay? Then. Yeah, this is for floating resistance, see? I have a V in, and then this node is a V2. You, you saw V2 here, right? So we want to implement this RS. So I want this current to be uh, V in divided V in minus V2 of RS. Okay? That's my current. Okay, then let's just see. Yeah, here see, uh, th this GM says uh, th this outgoing current is GM times V in, because V in minus uh, zero. This is a zero, okay? Outgoing current. And this current is a zero, right? So this current should be same as GM V in. 
And then what's this current? See, this is a V2. Yeah, this is a V2, V2, right? Same V2. And then because positive input is a zero, negative input is a V2. So the current must flow in. GM V2 current must flow in. So the outgoing current is uh, this current uh, minus that current, uh, which is uh, GM V in uh, uh, minus V2. So I want one of RS V in minus V2. So my RS should be just uh, one of GM. Okay. So my RS should be 1K. So those GM must be uh, in one mi millisiemens, right? This is only one millisiemens, okay? Now, although there is a current zero, but uh, uh, this current is uh, uh, the desired current, right? Desired current flows in. So my transfer function is fine, okay? So here, see, I, I implemented uh, this current correctly. If I attach uh, between this V in and V two, uh, this uh, uh, yeah, those two uh, transconductor. I mean, yeah, this is a transconductor. Another transconductor minus input is shorted to output. Okay. Question. No. Okay. Then. Let's uh, implement the floating inductor next time. So floating inductor is uh, between V2 and VR. Okay, this is a v VO node. That floating inductor is uh, just uh, 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 use two gyrators. You know, this is a gyrator. We, we talked about that, right? Gyrator. Yeah, this gyrator is, uh, see, this, uh, for, if I connect a uh, capacitor here, uh, this uh, looks like a, uh, a grounded inductor, L. Yeah, this grounded inductor must be C of uh, GM1, GM2. Yeah, if you look at this gyrator, uh, the input is applied to positive input node, input voltage. And then this feedback voltage V2 is applied to uh, uh, negative input node. Okay, this output is connected to input, right? So that's a gyrator. Okay. Yeah, so uh, let, let's review this one. Hmm. If this is a, a Vx, and this is a zero, this is a zero, this is a Vx, current flows out, right? And then, see, this current is a zero, okay? Then, this current must flow in. So my V2 is only one of SC, GM1 Vx, right? I want to calculate this Ix, actually, right? What's Ix? So then, yeah, this current is a zero, but because of V2, uh, the, the current flows in, right? This flows in current should be GM2 V2, right? Because V2 is connected to this minus input, okay? Then this one, if I substitute this equation there, then this is uh, GM1, GM2, Vx divided by Sc, right? Yeah, because this current is a zero, my Ix must be, this, this must be same as my Ix, right? This Ix. So uh, what's the impedance? That's the equivalent impedance, right? This impedance is uh, just Sc Gm1 Gm2. So this is only Sl. So I have a grounded inductor. C divided by GM1, GM2, okay? You can easily simulate this one. Maybe, uh, do I have a slide here? Nope. No, you can easily simulate. 